In today's quick tip video, we'll look at how to replace black and white with colors. And it's something you run into sometimes when doing these types of designs, where there's stark black and white images, and you just want to replace the black with one color and the white with another color. But I think the easiest way is to use a gradient map. Now this applies to all the Affinity programs. So I have my image selected here in Affinity Photo. And with this layer selected, what I'm going to do is add the gradient map. So I'll click the adjustment down here, and then I'll select gradient map. The gradient map is going to take a range of colors and map them onto our darks and lights. So here you can see the red is going onto the black areas here. If I toggle it off, you can see this is the black part over here. The blue is going on the bright areas. That's the right side here. If I toggle it off, you can see that's white. And the green is going into the midtones, which there aren't many of in this image. So how can we use our own colors? Well, first I'll delete green. Let's get rid of that. And maybe I'll make the darks some type of purple. So I'll select the red dot here. I'll click the color. And let's put it somewhere in the dark purple area here. I think that's pretty good. And let's change the brights. So I'll click the blue, change the color, and maybe I'll put it in there somewhere. And here we have our basic color replacement. Now it's important to understand that this isn't exactly two colors. We had some grays in our image. So if I zoom in, you can see different shades here. And that's going to be these gradient map values over here. If you did want it to be exactly two colors, you would need to add a threshold adjustment. So at the background selected, I can click adjustments and I can add threshold here. So I'll click threshold. I'll move it under the gradient map and now it actually will be two colors. So if I zoom in, you can see the sharp drop offs between the two colors and you could click on the threshold adjustment and change it as you see fit. Now this gradient is just affecting our image and we could add other elements with other colors if we wanted to. So I could add some text. change the color, give it an outline, and you can keep working on your design as you wanted to. So here's before, after, before, after. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered in a video, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.